Hello there. Hello there, and welcome to the uh, third video of my new channel, Novice Modeling in the Midlife Crisis. Uh, today I'm going to talk you through my collection of 33 Spitfires that are all in the 172 scale, apart from this one, the Revel Level 4 Iron Maiden Mark II Aces High in the 132 scale. Now I'm going to tell you a little story about this model as it's kind of relevant to my uh, YouTube journey. In Christmas past 2023, I mentioned that just in case you're tuning into this channel in 2048 wondering what the hell is going on. My mother asked me what I wanted for Christmas. And having seen this model, I said to her, you know, what? I quite fancy this. Her response was, Andrew, don't be so daft. Consequently, fearing I was going to get the normal Christmas jumper and a couple of pairs of socks, I decided to buy this model myself and present it to her to wrap so I could have something I actually wanted on Christmas Day. Uh, basically, this model has created a bit of a problem for myself in that I decided to buy a few Spitfires to practice on thinking this was quite a nice model. Might as well practice some painting and I've subsequently ended up with 33, 34 Spitfires to build. Yeah, maybe I've got an OCD. Anyway, enough of this one. Let's put it out of the way and I'll introduce you to the rest of the collection, which comes from a wide variety of manufacturers and represents both modern models and a load of vintage and retro models that I've found on eBay and on that site that I represent and I call Uncle Jeff's Bargain Bazaar, otherwise known to a lot of people as Amazon. <clears throat> Here we go. So the first model, well, we've got another Revel here, level three, 172, Supermarine Spitfire Mark 5B. Pretty ordinary looking thing. Got some nice pictures on the back with how we might be able to make it. So there we go. That's number one in the collection. Just put that out of the way. And here we have number two. You'll have to forgive my translation of Roman numerals, by the way. I think I'm pretty good, but maybe I'm wrong. This one's by a company called Sword, who I've never heard of. And it's a Spitfire Mark... X1V, so that'll be a Mark 14 C stroke E. You see on the picture, it's got a little flying bomb there. So this was obviously one that went chasing after them. And you can see it's got some nose art here of a nice little lady riding a flying bomb. Number three, I thought this one was kind of interesting. It's a dual pack from a company called AZ model, 172 scale, AZ7393 and actually contains two Spitfires, both Mark 9Cs. The first one being the Royal Egyptian Air Force and the second one be the Israeli Defense Force. This is one of those odd occasions where Spitfires ended up sp fighting Spitfires. So I thought that was kind of an interesting one, so I decided to buy that also. Number four, we have a Mr. Craft Hobby Kits, Spitfire Mark 5B Tropical. And this one's done out in US colors. And it's for Operation Torch when the Allies landed in Vichy, France, Algeria. And I think that was 1943. It's got a rather nice US flag on it and a, a school symbol, symbol. Bit damaged there, but never mind. That's number four. five we have everyone's going to recognize this supermarine spitfire mark 5 vb spark mark vb tropical uh tamia this is from the warbirds range number 56 and well everybody should have a tamia kit at the end of the day number six we have extra kit 
172 Supermarine Spitfire Mark 22 with the bubble canopy. No paint on this one, saves a bit of weight. And the aluminium finish. It's a nice looking model. Obviously this is uh, post-war. That one's number six. Number seven is Supermarine Seafire this time. Obviously this is the uh, carrier ball version. Mark 45, yeah, they actually got that far. And this one's by a company called Special Hobby. Got some nice art on the front there. And the Royal Navy colors. And that one is number six. Number seven. This is a rather nice big box. Again, it's only a 172, so. And this is Edward, their weekend edition. Again, we've got one in US markings. Probably from uh, the Italy invasion or North Africa campaign. That one's number seven. Let me drink out the way before I spill it. And now we're going on to a bunch of um, vintage ones, which I was lucky enough to find on eBay from a guy called Optica Techna. Now I actually bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven Spitfires off this guy. So if you want to go and have a look, he does quite a lot of vintage kits. He might not have many Spitfires at the moment, though. No. Thought I'd give him a shout out because obviously, why the hell not? This one is by KP Models. I think this is a Czech firm. I mean, it's got Czech markings on it. Obviously, we're going to uh, pick this one up as as per the kit, quite a small box. And that one is number eight. Number nine, we've got a vintage matchbox. Anyone that's my age is surely gonna recognize a matchbox logo. Again, 172. Not quite sure what's going on with the colors here. And you can see this one still, it's still it's original shrink wrap. There we go. I've lost count, unfortunately, now. And we're going to move on to this one. A Snap and Glue. It's actually made by Airfix. It's a cheap little kit, Spitfire Mark I. It's obviously quite old, a bit stained, a bit battered. But it's another Spitfire at the end of the day. Number 12. We have a Spitfire Mark 14 and Flying Bomb. You actually get the Flying Bomb in this kit as well, which is pretty cool. And you also get a Sky Base Action Display Stand. It's just what I want. And this is a Frog 172 model. Number F194. Don't think they make models anymore, but there we go. That's what you get when you get vintage. Now, this one's quite interesting. This is an Encore Models Spitfire Mark 1, 1A or 2A. And this is actually from, come all the way from Texas, USA. Still in its original box, not quite sure when it's from. Kit number 1008, Encore Models. Now, this one I love. I think this one costs £7.50. Again, this is from Optica Techna. Here we've got Spitfire Mark uh, 5B. This is by a company called PM Plastic Model. So I've actually done a bit of research on this and they're actually Turkish. You see, we've actually got this in Turkish colors. And I saw this and I thought, whoa, 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 that's like a, that's a Fock Wolf there. And it's got Turkish colors on it. And yeah, Turkey post-war actually flew Spitfires and flew Fock Wolfs as well. One of those rare occasions where you had Ex enemies working together. And this one here is Ventura Supermarine Spitfire Mark 22. This one's made in New Zealand. Hello to all the Kiwis watching, if I've got any yet. And as you can see, this is a bubble top, late, uh, late model. Again, I've never heard of Ventura, but. Here we are with a collection of Spitfires, so we've got to have them from all around the world. Next we have a Spitfire Mark XB, X1C, so that's a Mark 14C, but I think this one's by Academy Hobby Model Kits. Again, this is vintage. As you can see, it's still in its original shrink wrapping. 
they've got a little sticker on the back that says Toyway Letchworth England. So I'm guessing that's where it originally came from some years ago, probably. Now we have a Heller 172 Supermarine Spitfire Mark 1. It's a bit battered, a bit discoloured. Hopefully it's got all the bits inside. Again, this is another Optica Techna one off eBay. Optica Technica again, Hobby Boss, Spitfire Mark 5B. A lot of them seem to be Mark 5Bs. I've done a bit of reading up on Spitfires and that was probably one of the most numerical, numerically produced uh, models. 172 scale, this one looks quite modern. And we've got all the uh, options on the back of it and the instructions. I'm kind of hoping they might be a bit more detailed inside. Totally lost count and I'm not going to bother trying to count them up again now. Uh, this one is Smur High Tech Supermarine Spitfire. Again, we've got a Mark 5B. And we can see here this has got the little decal for a Czech squadron in the RAF. Probably, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years old, but it's got some photo etch parts, which is quite nice. That'll be an interesting one to make. Not sure what other um, transfers are with it. There we go. And so that originally cost £5.99. I think I paid about a tenner for it. And here we have an Italeri. That's oh, I don't know how to spell that. Supermarine Spitfire Mark 9, 172, kit number 094. Again, this is kind of a modern one as well. But we can see the Cross of Lorraine on here, which indicates it's a free French squadron within the RAF. Nice little model. Now, this one I kind of like. This is by a company called Brengle 172, and this is a Spitfire Mark 5B Messerspit. This is basically a captured German plane when they've attached, I'm not exactly sure what the engine is, but I'll find out when I come to model it. They've attached one of their engines to it and they were flying it for trial purposes, I guess, because you've got all the bright yellow markings on it here, just to see how it performed and maybe, I don't know, to see if they could actually knock up a Spitfire with a German engine to fly against British Spitfires because, well, the 109 wasn't really that great, was it? Now we're moving on to Forces of Valor by Waltersons. Don't know. UK Spitfire Mark 1X, so that'll be a Mark 9. British Air Defence August 1942, and he's shooting down a junkie's oh, JU-88 there. I'm not quite sure. Nice bit of uh, art on the uh, box. And that space, they can have to go on the floor. Now at some point I'm obviously going to be building all these and I might get bored of building Spitfires at some point. So I found on eBay, this is, can't remember who bought this one off, an Airflix Club, limited edition, and it's called Under the Red Star in 172. And it's got a Spitfire, a Hurricane and a Curtis P-40B Warhawk or Tomahawk as it was called in the British Air, in the Royal Air Force. So we've got the Russian markings, so these are obviously Lend-Lease planes that have gone over to Russia. We'll build all those in a day, I reckon. And, well, we've got a lot of Spitfires to get through, so that'll make an interesting change. Now, the next two models are vintage again, and these came from a guy called Peptirab on eBay. Again, I'm mentioning this because somebody might want to do some vintage uh, Spitfires, and he had a lot of vintage stuff going on. Planes, tanks whatever and this is a hawk model and in his advert he said this was from 1960 so at some point you're going to see me build a 60 something year old model plane i've had a quick look inside this it doesn't actually come with an undercarriage of any sorts and the markings displayed on here are a little bit accurate but they might be replacements but that's a kind of interesting one we look forward to that i hope And this one also came from Pebti Rab, and this is a Hasegawa Spitfire Mark I of the Royal Air Force. It's fighting a couple of Germans going on there. And again, this is this is a vintage one, and this looks to be a good, I don't know, 
40 years old maybe it's got to be 30 years old at least i haven't actually opened this one up yet to see what's going on inside so you'll have to wait for me to build it to see what's going on there this is a rather battered one pioneer 2 series got a sticker on it for 10 quid looks a bit cheap and cheerful and we've got um probably got markings for both the royal air force and the u.s air force looks like we've got the desert going on underneath us here so we're gonna as i guess this is somewhere in the african campaign and quite interesting to see what's going on there oh, this is an interesting one this is a pm model which is the same as that one same manufacturer as that one before but this is brand new this is a spitfire 5b float plane and i thought that would be an interesting one I don't see many float planes, but obviously Supermarine's um, history was in float planes, you know, and it won the Schneider Trophy. So obviously they thought it'd be a good idea to build one of these for some reason. I'm no idea when it was used. I haven't looked into the history of it. I accidentally bought another Hello on here. Uh, this is a Mark XVI, so that's going to be Mark 16E. Again, it's a bubble top and it's got some uh, nose art here for Winston Churchill. It looks like it's got a squadron leader flag going on. I think that's actually their current offering. So that's what you get if you buy from Hello at the moment. And we've got another Atelieri. So I've got two Atelieris. Spitfire Mark 5 VB again with the uh, tropical tropical thing going on. 109 in the background again we've got uh, mediterranean colorings on here so this is either going to be north africa or maybe the italian campaign and we got markings for the raf and the us north africa and depth in uk now this one is a fujimi model number 72132 and this one's all blue, and this is a photo, photo reconnaissance plane. So this is unarmed. Yeah, I fancied flying one of those. Very fast, apparently, though. I'm sure most people are going to be familiar with the old Airfix. Um, I actually bought this one about two years ago. I was going to start building some models about two years ago and got sidetracked doing something else. This is the starter set, so it comes with some glue, some paint, and a brush. Now, I'm going to build this one tomorrow, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and I'll be building it tomorrow, basically. I've decided that I'm going to build it as per the kit, using the paints included, and the brush, and the poly cement by Humbrol. I've got another the IDF Israeli. Spitfire LF Mark, that'll be a 9E 172. Yeah, I'm not even going to try and pronounce this one. I think this is Czech again. Yeah, made in the Czech Republic. I think actually the Spitfires that the Israeli Defence Force got hold of actually came from the Czech Republic post war. So, kind of explains why they've done one in their markings. And. Last but not least, we've got a Copro Serie Italiana Supermarine Spitfire F Mark 9C. I'm guessing 51 Stormo is probably a squadron in the Italian Air Force. Again, we've not actually got any uh, paint on this one, it's been stripped down. As you can see, we've got Italian post war markings on it. So, there you go, that's 30 something Spitfires for me to build. Um, I'm just going to put this one in front of me and these two as tomorrow is going to be my first build, first uh, model build in 20 years. That was the last time I actually tried to build a model and they were some Africa Core 135 Tamiya kits. The last time I built model aeroplanes was between the ages of 12 and 14. Now, I don't mind telling you, I'm 47, so that was 35, 33, 35 years ago. So I'm going to build these tomorrow, so I'm going to do a couple of videos on it, and you can see the outcome. 
I'm going to do them all as per the starter kits that they got here with their own with the paint included. I might use some of my own paints on the Messerschmitt BF110C. Um, or I might just use what's left over here. I'm going to use their paint brushes and their glue. So joining me tomorrow and we're going to build some models for the first time in 30 or 20 odd years. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. Oh, let's just put that down in front of us. Hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, questions and suggestions are always welcome on my channel. Please like and subscribe and join me for the ride. Plenty more videos and plenty more models to come. Be seeing you.